Now we want to add a footer to our web page and it's going to be similar to the navbar on the top only obviously it's going to be at the bottom of our page. So let's go to bootstrap over here and scroll up to the top and let's go back to the getting started page right here and once we're on that page over here on the right hand side it's going to say examples. Let's go to that page and let's scroll down here until we get to the sticky footer and make sure it's just the sticky footer and not sticky footer with nav bar. So click on that and it's going to take us to a sample page and if you see right down here on the bottom that's your that's our sticky footer. So in order to get that let's right click and go to view page source and let's scroll down to the very bottom of this and we'll notice that it's right down here and it's in these div tags right here. So Let's go ahead and just copy this and let's go over to our document and underneath this nav, let's uh, paste this in here and let's go ahead and tab these out so it's easier to read. And now let's uh, go back over to that bootstrap page and let's scroll up here to the top and right up here where the links to the CSS style sheets are, let's go to the second one right here where it says stickyfooter.css and click on it. And this is going to be our CSS we're going to use to get it to stick to the bottom. So let's just go ahead and copy this HTML body and footer part of it right up here. So copy that and let's go back over to our document and we want to put this CSS in that styles.css folder we created. So find it and go to it and the first thing we're going to do is let's uh, add a comment. So uh, let's just call this footer and go ahead and close that and then let's paste out our HTML that we just got from that. Let's go ahead and save this page and go back over to our index.html and let's save that page. And now let's go back to our web browser and go to our website. If you don't have it open, you can go to file and open it back up and let's just refresh it. And now that we see we have our footer down here on the bottom of the page and it's going to shrink as the page shrinks. So. Let's go ahead and let's change the color of the footer uh, to black just so we can match the top. So if we go back to our document and go over to styles.css, let's go ahead and change this to pound 000000. Save that and go back to our web browser and refresh and you'll now see we changed the content or I mean the footer to black so it matches the navigation up here. We'll come back in here uh, later on and we'll change this text right here to uh, maybe what you see on a lot of the sites it says copyright and then a year, all rights reserved, browser language or something like that. So we can come back in and change anything we want down here. We can add links to the bottom if we want and there's just a bunch of different things we can do. So we'll kind of style it later on. In the next video, we'll uh, start adding our content to our web page and we might add some social media icons up here to the top of the nav bar. So subscribe to my channel and keep following along.